Coming to you today from the third floor in my wife's office. We've been here once before when I showed you the Epson Fast Photo FF680W. I'll put a link on that above where I was scanning old photographs. Well, continuing the theme, I am now digitizing a bunch of old slides, 35 millimeter slides. And I know there's some of you out there that have never even seen these things and don't know what they are. But for those of you my age with the gray hair, you remember these, maybe fondly, maybe not. Um, they would be pictures taken and made in these little slides. And it was a whole event to project these things. Your parents would put them in the carousel or a feeder that went straight through projecting them up against the wall. Um, and again, if you're like me, somewhere you have, or your parents do, boxes of these things sitting around collecting dust. You may recall in the previous video, I was out at my mom's house in California as she moved on to live with my brother up in Seattle and came across all these slides dating back to the early 60s. Some of them predate me. Um, so obviously I haven't seen them in decades and thought it'd be fun to digitize them. Looked into a bunch of different options. Uh, Legacy Box is one that you see out there, commercial option, but extremely expensive. Once I did the math on how expensive it was going to be to do literally hundreds of these things, um, I decided to look into it a little bit more. And what I settled on was this unit right here the Kodak Scanza uh, slide and film digitizer. This thing is really kind of cool. It's been working great. I'll put a link below to it. Now I didn't unbox this for you, but I'll show you here. It comes well packaged. It includes everything you would expect. Interestingly enough, it comes with several different power adapters. So you can use it on European plugs and, and other plugs, not just here in the US. Um, there's connecting cables, power cable, and a whole bunch of these adapters here that allow you to put different types of films. So you can put a 35 film negative in here, a 110 film negative, a 35 millimeter slide, uh, an 8 millimeter film negative in this thing. Now I'm just doing it for the slides. And there are other reviews out there that will show you how to do it with the um, with the adapters on other size film. But for me, it was a way to digitize the slides. Um, very simple operation. You simply power it up, put a SD card in the back, and run through a series of very easy to follow steps on the screen here that will allow you to pick and choose exactly what it is you're scanning. And then you can see on the screen here, and I'll show it in more detail in a second. You see on the screen, it shows you what you're looking at, and it's simply a one button capture process. You press the little um, camera button, and it immediately transfers the picture to your SD card. Then you take the SD card and put it in your computer, and you're off to the races. So, like I said, this thing is very easy to operate. You simply power it on. You can see here is a nice screen. You can then use the buttons to move yourself through various settings. You pick the film type, the resolution, the brightness, etc., etc. What film tray you're putting in there. Film type, if you select that, whether you're using a negative, or a slide like I am, black and white, etc. So I'm using a slide, I'm using a 135 slide. Now it's all ready to go. It tells you what tray to use, tray number one, which is this tray right here. It is very simple. The tray slides in, and then you take your slides and start feeding them in. You see this is from December of 1961. And we're going to capture. So now you just slide them in here and there's the first one that popped up. Now this is a manual process. You're not going to be doing a lot of rapid 
uh, digitization like you do on the Epson up there with, with actual photos. This is a one at a time type thing. Now there's a picture of my grandmother with my little brother. So this one I'm going to want to save. Simply press the camera button there. It says save. And that's it. Now you move on to the next one. There's a picture of, looks like my dad and my grandmother on a motorcycle. Definitely saving that. And that looks like me swimming. I'll save that too. So you get the idea. Then it goes on to a disc and the disc goes into your computer and where it goes from there is entirely up to you. So here are the results of my efforts. I was able to recover over 350 pictures of really family history that uh, had been sitting in a box unseen for literally decades. Things, some of the pictures I had never seen before, some memories that I were long faded, a picture of my grandfather smoking a pipe, there's several of those which really mean a lot to me. Uh, pictures of multiple generations of the family together, there's one or two pictures, here's one that's kind of faded, of uh, five generations of, uh, of the family. Really a lot of good memories and uh, being able to save some family history that I think is uh, really enjoyable and will be fun for the rest of the family to uh, take a look at. Well, I hope you've liked that quick review of the Kodak Scanza digital film scanner. If you're anything like me and have a bunch of these slides and things sitting around, this seems like a really good way to start preserving those memories and sharing them with future generations. If you like this, please hit the like, subscribe, and bell button, and I'll see you again soon here in the arena.